How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the workshop this week. My name is Spange. And I am Excalibur. And today we are looking at two pretty higher level CVs that we have found on the workshop after trawling through pages and pages. Um, so on the right here, we can see the Chimera by Doom Noodle. And on the left, this is the Scut S K U T L 3 R. And this is by. Uh... Trixie. By Trixie. Nice. Two very, very different capital vessels. Okay, so because of the size of these things and the complexity of these things, we're going to kind of rattle through the tour a little bit. So bear with me here. We're going to start with the Chimera on the right by Doom Noodle. And uh, we can instantly see that this is a fairly unique looking craft. I absolutely adore the design of this. You know me. I love sweeping sort of half semicircled wings on the side of things hell that's what i'm famous for we all know the reaver's fate right so this thing is like a cv version of that with a much longer nose of course it just looks awesome i love it yeah the, the nice inset shapes here in the center with the lighting little accents and stuff it's 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 really cool there's Definitely. so much attention to detail in this thing i could go on for ages about it i, I just love the fact that there is a gap between the, the the wings i suppose you can call them where you've got the side thrusters have a clear exhaust path through that mm. that's nice that's, that's just nice it is, it is nice <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean yeah you've got equal thrust on the front and back with these uh these large thrusters which which look just look great in these I'm, i've never really managed to get these half circle quarter circle blocks to look good um with these thrusters i actually think they might be they're not inset, are they? Actually, Excal, they are the mm -hmm. the the they're chosen. The enclosed, actually. Yeah, the enclosed ones. That's the thrust in their textured. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Very nice. nice. So this thing is armed to the teeth as well. You have got guns on every surface imaginable on this thing. Uh, you've got little guns hidden away in the sides, in the armpits, if you like, of <laughs> the the engine houses, and then you've got more guns on the underside, the side, front, top center everything and of course the mounted weapons here you got lasers and rocket launchers let's have a quick look at the stats before we head inside so this is a 33.5 kiloton monster he's done some signals here which is lovely and we can see from the ammunition loadout that we've got both types of lasers plasmas projectiles 15 mil flak and 150 mil missile turrets no artillery on this thing over on the statistics page, we can see it's a size class 7 ship, unlocked level 25, and it has about 72 meters squared at 2,400 meganewtons of thrust, forward and backwards. That's a lot. That's fast. Uh, 14 left and right, 24 meters per second at 800 meganewtons lifting capacity, which is slightly underwhelming, I'll be honest, slightly concerning, especially with weights and volumes enabled. Uh, and, a, and a whole eight on the down, which is fine because gravity. Uh, over on the cost side of things, you're looking at 27,000 safety and 19,000 iron. You can read. There it is. All right. So this is a well kitted out machine. And it just looks freaking cool. I, I, I've said it before, but I'll say it again and again. It looks cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, uh, very RP. Very nice. Great looking. Let's have a look inside. So I'm at the back of the ship right now, and this hangar bay here is not tied into signal logic, unlike the ramp. So you do have to actually manually open the hangar door to reveal the spacious, shall we say, uh, first hangar bay. This thing will fit a very decent sized HV and a very decent sized SV. Uh, you could even probably put the SV on the floor and mount an AHV on the ceiling if you're feeling creative or vice versa. Um, but in here otherwise you've got constructors, you've got O2, uh, repair stations, fridges, food processors, there are storage container controllers mounted in the walls, there are further storage boxes mounted in the floor, there is a medical chamber and a clone chamber which is uh, why, I don't know, but there is. So, And there's also a repair bay and repair console. Where is the repair console? There it is. It's right there. Armor lockers, and he's even gone to the the uh, the, the uh, trouble of labeling these constructors for you. Let's see if he's named them. 
no, he hasn't named them. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. If he named the constructors as well in the P menu, that would have been an mm -hmm. extra nice touch. But that's not too difficult to do yourself. So, you know, stop being lazy and get in the P menu. Come on. <laughs> I, I like what, I like how busy it looks. It looks the right kind of busy. I mean, it looks like a production deck. Uh, you've got, I mean, you got all the constructors on both sides. He's done a good job of actually allowing us to see the back of these thrusters as well. It just kind of looks like it could be a part of the constructor, you know, like the ports going in and out or something. I don't know. It just kind of looks cool. Yeah, it looks busy back there with the lighting textures and stuff. That's it. That's it. There's machinery going on behind the constructors. So yeah. It does look good. So we look at these container controllers. We've got 320,000, which is obviously the max uh, available in that one. And presumably the same over on that side as well. Yep. And you got two more at the front here. And these are thirty-two thousand, so only only slight a tenth, is that ten percent or yeah. You got some cool drop boxes in along here as well, some regular cargo boxes for like quick quick deployment and stuff. That's quick great. drop, yeah. And of course there are sixteen thousand each, so that's good. Internal sentry guns as well. Just in case borders, that will make loose happy. All right, let's proceed on through this hangar bay again, which you do have to open manually. You have the second interior hangar bay, which is marked out for HV. And here you've got a gravity generator and offline protection and another sentry gun mounted on the O2 um, ventilator there. And again, texturing really nice in here. Really good attention to detail. Yeah, a lot of concave and insetting. Very nice. So I'm going to come out of god mode now and um, plonk myself on the floor. Let's walk through this door. And here we've got a nice garden. A multi-layer, multi-level garden. You don't see these very often. Oh, wow, yeah. <clears throat> so this is plenty of plots for one, even two, maybe three players to, to work from. You're going to get several ration packs per crop in here. Obviously you've got a few fridges, which is perfect because you would load the crops into the fridges. You would then go into the production area back in that hangar bay and use the food processor there, which will be linked to them. It's kind of a lot of fridges there, to be honest. <laughs> you've got you've got left and right fridges, <laughs> input and output. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, all right. Yeah, all right. So this is the engineering, it's a very, uh, very small, compact me, engineering area. Go. You locked out? Yeah, you got to set to private there, champ. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm, very, I'm very sorry. That's <laughs> that's that's an epic fail on my part. There we go. Okay, so this is the engineering bay, and you've got some very nicely placed uh, and generators, warp tank, uh, warp drive, and tank. And obviously, there's a motion sensor there which turns the lights on and off. I love the use of this heavy glass above. Yeah, it's got some nice uh, glowy things too. Yeah, glowy things, yeah, exactly. The pipe work glowing, it uh, makes it look hot. Makes it look hot in here. Which is good because we've got air conditioning. So it's absolutely fine. Mm. But yeah, the texture use in here is great. There's an attention to detail here. If you go into the warp drive, you've always got this cabling texture going on down there. Oh, and it's even textured yeah, behind yeah. it as well. So, good nice effort. Job, Dan. Very nice. Oh, I just noticed this as well. There are RCSs embedded in the walls here. Very nice. All right. So let's head back through the gun and into the second hangar bay. And even on either side, you eagle-eyed viewers out there would have noticed there are some elevator blocks. I'm actually going to go down first, x -Cal. All right. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> so this, we're now underneath the hangar bay. And again, the uh, the oh, texturing wow. here is is really good. I really like it. So, yeah, look at this, man. This is sharp. You got fuel tanks you know, and lighting. Not something you'd uh, you know you, you would never really need to walk down here, but it's just cool that it's there, right? Like mm. you know, it gives you that sci-fi effect, you know, like rooms that you know little corridors and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. It's. It's like your, like your stars. It's like your um, purist question, you know. Uh, you can access all the fuel tanks. You can you can do maintenance and stuff. It's all there, and that's it. Yeah. So that's all there is down here, which is very nice. Let's head up now, past the hangar bay, 
and then the first door we come to our sick bay or med medical room thing magic so you've pretty much got everything you need in here plenty of deco plenty of machines to heal all the wounds and sicknesses you may pick up and um, mm. toilets and stuff built in as well again medical chamber and clone chamber um, damn yeah. it yeah all right yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> can, can we all can we all just stop doing that, please? <laughs> it really if annoys. anybody doesn't know, the clone chamber is for the lower level, right? Once you get the medical, what is it at level seven? I think level seven. Unlock level seven. This replaces the clone chamber. So, if anybody doesn't know that, that's uh, yeah. This also it it meds and it and it uh, it acts as the clone chamber. Level That's 10. only for the CV and base, though. Not the uh, yeah, sorry, level ten. Thanks. Nice. Not for the uh, HV because I haven't I haven't seen that work yet. Mm. But yeah, you've been told, everyone. You've been told. All yeah. Right. So if we come through, we're above the garden now that's downstairs, and this is like a nice little canteen area, and you've got little pot uh, plants and stuff. It's very nice. Yeah, I you know I I love the texturing, man. You know the. The different tones and stuff, but still mm. keeping it kind of a the gray inside. I really like. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of love and attention gone into the texturing. So carry on through, and we've got like a sort of an R and R crew lounge quarters area. Mm. Oh look, you can see the uh, engine room from from up here too. That's cool. It's nice for the crew that are you know on a break can look down at the crew sweating their butts off down in the engineering section. So that's always nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carry on through, and we're into a sort of corridor situation where we've got crew quarters on each side, decorated according to the uh, crewman standards, and shared bathrooms with glass doors. I like nice, that. I like it. And bunks. Same on both sides. Kids room. Yeah. Very nice. So some good RP value in that. Yep. I like that it's segregated too. So it's like you know you don't have to go in here if you're not into the RP aspect of things, but it's there. It's Ex yeah. You, you can ignore this entire part of the ship if this is not your. Yeah. You can even gut it out and fill it with anything you want to fill it with, whatever. But yeah, but you know, it's it's definitely a testament to some good uh, artistry there. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go up one more level, and we come to this sort of corridor. We've got O2 tanks. We've got some great texturing again. Lighting in here looks, um, you know, fairly utilitarian. <laughs> wow, well, this is the this is the pimp's room, isn't it? <laughs> the uh, the sugar daddy's Gucci palace. Out, man. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn, man. This is they ain't playing. This is where the core is at. This isn't a military ship, after all, is it? <laughs> yeah, right. you know what? Like out of everything here, I gotta say the corridors is the freaking gem of this ship. Yeah, it's really um, immersive. I mean, just you know the way he does these slopes and these little uh, these little slants and stuff. It just and all the texture work, just the deep texturing here. It, it, this is some time, man. The more time that I would spend, you know, this is this is some thoughtful uh, texturing. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely agree. It's uh, yeah, like you, you said it. You said it. It's thoughtful texturing, and it's it's immersive. Yeah. It makes it feel like you're on a proper ship with limited space. So this yeah, is the nice bridge. bridge. Again, it's multi-layer. You've got lower level and upper level. Um, and, and again, you know, the texturing and time and effort that he's put into almost every inch of this is just good. Except Doom Nerdle. Doom Nerdle. What's going on with these windows? <laughs> What's going on with these windows, dude? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's literally, that's all you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. Had to say it, had to say it. Come on, yeah. Come on. after everything else, all the other stuff, yeah, you know, yeah, you've yeah. got the windows around the wrong way. But now, other than that, this is a nice bridge, and it's functional. You've got a forward 
cockpit area to drive from and you've got a more protected area further back down there in the command chair. Yeah, just, you know, I, I can't say it enough, man. Just just the time put, you know, you really appreciate a build when you see that they've really taken the time, especially if you're a builder, because you know how long it takes to texture like this. Mm -hmm. And this this was an effort on top of a, making a really nice looking CV, really nice shape, um, laid out great, you know, very, uh, you know, it, it's just all around. It's very functional, but it's beautiful. Yeah. It's the best of both. It's really nice. Completely agree. So there we go. That is the Chimera by Doom Noodle. Thank you, Doom Noodle, for that one. Very good job. All right, so this is the Scut L3R, and this is by Trixie. And yeah, you know, we, we saw this on the workshop, and, you know, immediately, you know, you saw the shape of it, and, you know, I, I saw the claws, and it was all over from there. I was sold. I didn't even need to look inside the thing. I just saw it and I was like, "Oh man, look at this! You got you got these, you know, great use of the uh, the wall uh, blocks, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, mixed in with the thrusters. You got the drills, and then you got the piping. Look yeah. at the piping. Look at the. I mean, and it and it goes outside of the uh, slants. It's just done so perfectly with the new deco blocks. Look, look at at the end here, the kind of the hydraulic tank, you know." That yep. makes this thing move. That's it's just, just that's odd. crazy, isn't it? That hydraulic just tank. Well is, done. It's pretty well freaking done, man. You got you know you got the you know and then you got these little uh, these landing gears. They 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 totally look like they're going up and down, right? Like that thing's gonna fold up. You know, just just well well done. I, I like the venting on the uh, sides here. You know, what, what would be an otherwise pretty basic shape um, has really been made into a very detailed look. Just this little guard here that, that comes out on these side thrusters just makes it look so nice. Mm. And again, that looks you know, like something then, that would fold away, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then there's the nice tones and the, uh, you know, I love the orange, right? Mm. All about the orange, so that's cool. But yeah, I mean, just, you know, it's just, you know, when somebody could make something so small look so good, it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I got to so, I agree. see, here you got some ramps here let's uh let's look at here if i have any uh, logistics here so we'll go over this real quick so this is an unlock level 25 size class 3 capital vessel it's um yeah it's 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 pretty affordable too it's um it has 86 uh 25 sapium uh 5200 iron 2000 silicone um 1300 carbon 3225 neodymium it's got 12 steel grow plots and a little bit a little bit of a restroom and zircosium, 805. I assume that's for the drills that are on it. So unlock level 25. Um, I, I notice all over here automatically in the back here, you've got a uh, you got ramps here. So it's just a way to get your HV up there into this inset little repair cargo, uh, sorry, vessel bay. So that's cool. Uh, so you see on the top here, you've got room for uh, roughly four mid-sized vessels, HV, SVs, or one big SV, two big SVs, whatever. You got this cool uh, kind of claw thing in the middle where it looks like it could cradle like a big uh, a big build. So that, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. More more deco action and stuff. And so if you go underneath here, um, you can also see some some nice piping work. And some sentry turrets here. If you go, uh, you know, he's he's opted for the old school method of the ramp and uh, shutter door. Interesting to see why he didn't use the newer uh, the newer ramps, the inset ones, because that would have been cool. I think the newer ones works. don't go low enough. Uh, they don't. Is that they go thing? down one Maybe. block, I think. So he's probably ah. opted for that because it's a you know it can reach the ground. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, so if you come up to the uh, first floor here, you've got, you know, you got the nice windows and goes into the uh, airlock here. Then you get into your main area here. And look, he's got a little nice sign greeting us here. Welcome to the Scut L3R Mobile Mining and Salvage Rig. It's OSHA approved, so in case you're worried, it is OSHA approved. <laughs> and uh, days since last workplace accident is a whole day. Mm. So, you know, I, I'd be interested to hear what happened. 
maybe we'll uh, update that in the comments section. But um, yeah, so again, <laughs> we've got the uh, we got a nice little closed off here medical wing, you know, with the scanners. So it's it's you know as soon as you get into the vessel, you can med up and stuff. Um, again, with the clone chamber and med station. Uh, if there's anything we learned this episode, it's this. I won't say anything more. But uh, it, I, I you know if it's strictly for looks, then I I can appreciate that. You know, one side here, one side the other. Maybe like an O2 station instead or something. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> So we, we move, uh, let's move to the sides here first. You notice you got a couple uh, little grow plots here. This is nice. You know, there's one on each side, and that's enough for, you know, ration packs and stuff for one person. I assume one, one maybe two people are using this thing. So I, I think that's uh, more than adequate. You do have the O2 station over here. Um, you got a little uh, little bunk area here with the, with the bathroom. Nice, nice bathroom. I like it. You got the lighting texture there, and you know it makes it look like it's a whole room. That's cool. Good texturing work on that. Um, if we move back here, I'll avoid the bridge for now. Um, you look, you've got a cargo system over here of 48k. Same thing on the other side. So ad adequate um, small salvage capabilities for this thing. Oh, what do you think that is? I don't know. There's a shut door up here. <laughs> you got in there? Interesting. I don't know. What is this? What? Smuggling hole? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. What I don't is know. this? It's... Just a normal block? What? Thruster? Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's a... oh, it's thruster access. I'm burning. I'm burning. <laughs> 300 uh... degrees centigrade. <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> oh, That's quite right, nice. Because right. you had to repair it. That's cool. So you do have an ore and wood uh, here as well. And this one's... Uh... 48k as well so interesting so you got a regular one an ore and wood one let me look on this side here so same thing over here you've got two so you've got four systems of 48k that's good it's not bad that's a good it's a good amount of cargo for something this small if you're coming back here you've got a repair station you got the armor locker and then you got a small constructor here and you've got a wardrobe kind of this is interesting you know because he he's with me on how ugly this repair station is. So you know he kind of he's kind of hidden it with uh, with the uh, wardrobe there. So that's cool. If you look here, you've got the new uh, little cargo uh, pallet, which is pretty cool. And you got the little chair here for stamina recovery. Now when you walk in here, I really like this because um, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of heat going on here. But you know he's correctly uh, segregated it to where you know you wouldn't just stumble upon. 300 degrees right so you'd, you'd really have to work at it to get in there and get affected by the thrusters and stuff but you know you get to see it so it's it's cool he's showing off a lot of the uh the busyness of the new uh the new thrusters and stuff so i, I really like that it's a nice yeah. touch he's got some nice piping going on i just noticed on the ceiling he's uh he's using yeah. a little small piping going on there's some there's some care and attention with the texturing here there's a few texturing spots that uh, are maybe missed, or maybe that's on purpose. I can't quite tell underneath mm. the light there. But I love when I walked into this room how that warp core looked through the door. Yeah, you know, yeah. you just got that big kind of do heck a dedron twelve sided whatever it is in the warp core there. Just stands out really nicely. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's 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 all business, and I like it. It's um, it, it's got some nice touches. I like the wood floors. I like you know, there's some plants and stuff about to to give it a you know, give it a nice feeling. But you know, it's the way it's laid out is all business, and I love it. This is this is a minimalist uh, vessel, definitely, and right up my alley here. <laughs> now, if we if we come to the bridge here, we've got you know, you got a lot of deco work and stuff. You got the uh, the repair console right here, and I That's assume this is yeah, this is the repair door. It says repair door. Repair door. Okay, maybe that's the shutter that uh, is blocking the repair station here. So yeah, they put a so they put a shutter they put a shutter over the uh, repair bay. So I guess that uncovers it down there. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, yeah, so you'd come down here, and um, you know you'd access the uh, the repair console, and you know then open it up, and you're good to go. So that's definitely some rp value to that right um but yeah i mean other than that pretty cut and dry you got you got you know interesting uh window uh deal here and then you got some uh, what is this this is the multi-turret 
Wow. Yeah, you got a multi turret right here, so that yeah. for quick salvage of POIs. Oh yeah, nice. What I don't quite understand, uh, maybe I'm just losing my mind. Ah, in the sides here, I saw this from the front. You got these heavy glass windows on the corners. These are spotlights. Mm. Yeah. So if we turn lights on, there you go. Blind ourselves. Boom! Look at that lighting. Yeah. It's substantial. That's cool. That it's is good. cool. That's, that's going to be handy protected. when you're taking down some uh, meteorites or whatever. Definitely. Yeah. Very nice. I, I gotta say, I can't say enough about these claws. <laughs> it's just too cool. <laughs> Very cool. That is just too cool. I mean, it's you know, it's one, it's one drill, right? So, yeah, yeah. is it a drill? Let me make sure this is a drill. It is yeah, a drill, it's a drill. Yeah. So it's a drill. So how effective that actually is with the width and how far apart they are and stuff, it's gonna be, you know, it'll make for some interesting mining. But you know, the look is, you know, this is where you separate function and looks, and ah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, there's some Little, seriously uh, uh, good RP value on that, and, um, and you know it's got your famous your your favorite block on the top as well. You know. Yeah, yeah, Jay Randall's radar, but it actually works. <laughs> yeah. So um, you know, Jay Randall, just uh, this is how you use this properly, sir. <laughs> right there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, you know all around. This is a. Uh, this is a very interesting build. Yep. And again, this is the uh, this is the Scut L three R, and this is by Trixie. So, great job, Trixie. Very nice. Yep, very nice. All right, so that is the Shamira and the Scut L three R, a Doom Noodle, and by Trixie, respectively. Uh, there's just one more thing that I wanted to point out about the Shamira before we close today's episode, and that is if I do this, and that is to turn her off. It now stays exactly where it is. <laughs> Alright, let, let me jump in. The really good that was in. falling over when I was testing go it. Ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'll jump in. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Guess, where did it go? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> where did it go? What, what just happened? I did it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, I think uh, Doom Noodle has invented a new defense mechanism. <laughs> nice. Look at Cloaky. that. Powered Gee. down hover as well. Damn. Damn. <laughs> there we go. That is the Chimera by Doom Noodle, now complete with a power saving hover mode. Uh, <laughs> but yes, you do have to land it. I wonder if. If um, Doom intended this thing to be placed along with a, uh, a docking station pad, specially built, because these uh, these these ramps obviously don't go to the, the bottom either. A bit like the um, the skirt over there, the ramps don't reach the bottom of the ship. So you would need a base with a ramp up in order to meet with it, or you have a hover vessel that has a, a good enough boost jump ability to get into the back. But yeah, there is a bit of trickiness with landing it and keeping it. From falling over when you're in gravity obviously when you're in space it's no problem but then you can't play with hover vessels so mm, yeah if there's not one get on it doom we need a base for this with yeah. the little uh little cradle clamp on the front here to keep this thing up right that'd be really that would be awesome the chimera docking pad i see it now on the workshop ah well, well. no as in i see it coming to the workshop Oh, <laughs> it's oh, not there now. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little confusing. All right, guys, that is the workshop this week. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, what are we doing next, Cal? Uh, it's a it's a good question, sir. Um, I think we will. Ooh, what are we doing? Well, I was wondering if uh, mid to late game bases might be a good thing because do you know what bases just don't come up that often. It's a uh, yeah, it's it's kind of a thing, right? Like mm. most people, you know, they build their own bases, especially at end game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some real nice options for uh, for end game bases. And I think we should so, keep yeah. the uh, I think keep the scope relatively open this time. So rather than mm. restricting to a particular level or size class or whatever. I say we just look at any bases that you know you would build. <laughs> Let's just go. Yeah, up. I mean, with the you know with the new cargo systems and and the new uh, 
the new classes of vessels and everything there's there really is a need for a big base kind of at the end of it to really you know carry your uh, heavy production needs and your uh you know your overflow storage and you know so yeah it, it would be nice to have a big end game base or you know even a space station that would uh you know to serve to that so i think even looking at like a space station yep. next week as well uh, so we'll open it up to to both yeah yeah let's just say bases we're gonna look at bases give us some bases guys all right guys that is all for today thank you very much for watching it is greatly appreciated and hopefully we'll see you next time until then, take care. Bye-bye. Catch y'all later. And today we are looking at two pretty higher level CVs that we have found on the workshop after trawling through pages and pages. Um, so on the right here, we can see the something by someone. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I see what you did here. I, I see what you did. You, you hogged all the sunlight for yours. Right, and now I get to I get oh, to freaking your horses. I <laughs> I gotta show mine with, with squinted eyes and the freaking evening freaking sun here. Hang on, there you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember this name again. The Scut. I'm not gonna say Scut. The S the S K U T L three R. Scut sounds like such right. a dirty word, doesn't it? It does. It's like it's like saying the word moist, you know? Yeah. I can't do it. Like, I never use the word moist. Like, I don't care what context. No. No, it's not moist in the air. Stop it. Okay. There's kids around. You know? There's kids around. Stop saying moist. <laughs> <laughs>